welcome everybody welcome to today's nifty bulletin for first march 2017 and potential option paths myself dean you can get in touch with me on twitter or visit my website get that trading is dot in software used for today today's presentation are bell market profile and bell order flow for details of the softwares please visit belltpo.com let me go through the disclaimer information shared here is not a trading recommendation and we are not a business of providing any all information shared here is strictly for educational purposes only please use your discretion while acting on the information shared here we will not be responsible for any resulting profits or losses please consult your registered financial advisor before you make any trading and investment decision let's go to charts this is today's development on nifty yesterday we had a nice bell curve we had this rejection which came from a reference which we had marked in our earlier video logs and when this market closed uh yesterday in yesterday's video log we said that we need to find acceptance and continuation higher to prove that this particular rejection is a uh, is by strong uh, players and that is exactly what uh, happened today we had a nice open drive activity once we uh, though we opened just inside value immediately drove higher and you know came within striking distance of this particular reference the poor high from the 23rd of february but we could not take it out in the morning then we started moving lower i posted a chart on slack showing that this particular small distribution suggested that once this open drive activity started there was some selling which might have come once you know prices traded above or around this particular zone and you know maybe sellers were looking for a failed auction above this high to test the value again but when the selling was coming in uh, smart buyers started reaccumulating from them and never let the price slide towards the open so once this reaccumulation was done prices again resumed higher all this happened in the first 30 minute period so if you go on to a 3 minute chart you can easily see this kind of activity happening it's very difficult to find out on a 30 minute chart but this volume profile which is building alongside this profile graphic in real time helps us make that assessment and that is how i posted that chart in the morning so we went higher then some profit booking came in and we started getting this kind of a p profile shape so what i posted in, uh, in in that post in slack was this particular distribution was key uh, as long as we were above this particular distribution Uh, we could uh, be sure that the bulls will come back and uh, assert themselves once you know this initial profit booking is over that is exactly what happened we started moving higher then uh, we went above today's high morning high and above this poor high so this poor high got repaired uh, once we saw that uh, bulls were buyers were matching the sellers and resulted in this nice bell shape curve uh, we were pretty sure that uh, if the buyers come in they will target this poor high as the first reference and uh, i also warned about a potential failed auction about this reference uh, in my morning charts and that is exactly what seems to have happened here but since all this happened so late in the day we cannot be very sure whether 
we will get this kind of a follow through tomorrow or you know uh, this was just uh, profit booking going into the close of the day and bulls will again resume their march higher so <clears throat> this is the market development on nifty today let's just quickly go through the hypos let me draw this level again this was that poor high and uh, if we collapse this profile you see that uh, the volume profile is not very smooth you have this bulge here and then this bulge here and then again this bulge here and uh, had this been very smooth and this rejection was a nice uh, you know gradient we could have said that this failed auction is a success <coughs> but since we do not have that it is not very you know uh, wise to expect that the market will immediately start falling so uh, we look at the levels then again this particular high volume node of this morning distribution is my first reference for any downside so if we come down unless and until we start find acceptance below this i won't be interested in shorting or looking for lower prices uh, there is a possibility that we come down test this and again start moving up or straight away open higher and uh, continue this move up because this is a p shape there were a lot of sellers so if we directly gap up above this particular reference above this failed auction then uh, anybody who was you know selling here Uh, will be put under pressure and they'll uh, have to cover and that will push the prices higher so that is one possibility but uh, uh, out and out bearish scenario i won't be very uh, keen on that unless we trade below this level that comes to around 8935 kind of a level so unless and until we uh, you know start accepting below this level uh, i won't uh, go short once we start accepting below this level then immediately the area to check becomes this single print because this is where the rejection was seen so if we start accepting below this level we will most likely test this to see whether the rejection is still valid and then if we start accepting in this rejection then we can uh, look for even lower prices uh, so these are my hypos for nifty let's go to bank nifty chart bank nifty was a very very prominent and clear p shape structure it opened outside almost outside range tested back into the range and was uh, did not find anything it was rejected and it went higher but then the whole day uh, developed within the first <coughs> period of the day that is a so kind of a normal day and uh, the structure is a p shape so this does not speak well about the uh, buyers because one they could not extend the range beyond this uh, first 30 minute uh, high and second the profile shape after this nice open test drive kind of open the profile shape is a p uh, and a very you know tight distribution at the upper end of this opening so this was a kind of a emotional opening but then you know uh, smart money came in and they sold and stopped this move in its tracks uh, if you look to the left for references so this was an important reference uh, it was the volume point of control for this composite profile so if the you know smart money had accumulated their shorts in this range and we came here and tested this particular reference with a p shape it does not speak well at all for the effort of the buyers so there is every likelihood that we might fail and the likely targets to start with will be the open for the day and this row and once these two are taken out and still you know we find acceptance in this range then we can move lower and check what lies beneath this particular profile because this is this was the day where you know buyers came in and matched these sellers and resulted in a nice flat profile this happening after a period of falling prices suggested that the buyers have matched the sellers and they have stopped the 
down option but the follow through which we got was not at all good so if the smart money had accumulated in this particular zone then we must stay above uh, this particular level because if we start finding acceptance below that then what it will mean is that any accumulation in this zone is being put under pressure and they are reassessing their idea of a fair value and that might lead to search for value lower so that's a possibility but again uh, i mean these sellers have reasserted themselves here so we have sellers from this area and this area uh, short this whole region has a lot of shorts accumulated so if this is smart money they will be able to successfully defend this zone and will start moving lower but if you know some higher time frame comes in because nifty is poised just below that resistance of that poor high we have acceptance there so it might mean that uh, we might you know have seen some absorption on nifty if we get continuation about two days high and if that happens even bank nifty will be pulled higher and any acceptance in this zone above this particular and this uh, area of acceptance will put any shorts in this range under pressure and we might see higher prices so these are uh, a few possibilities on bank nifty let me see if we have something on the order flow charts there was this delta divergence happening on a 15 minute chart uh, i took this late uh, short scalp could not take this long because i was late to the office but uh, Three minute order flow chart might clear up the picture a bit more. Yeah, here it is. So, it was this this late shot which I took. Uh, we had this nice spike up, but if you can notice, lot of you know buying happened in these two cells, but. Uh, the next bar could not you know continue higher we again try to move higher again we get the same kind of development here selling early on but then you know buyers getting stuck at the top so these two uh, deep green prints pointed to me that maybe the buyers you know were met by some passive selling and they were not able to extend the range up and that is that was the reason for me to you know short this market uh, then obviously the market went down came down this was a nice test if you can spot these kind of tests in the market you will be able to create your positions at very advantageous locations so this was a up bar range lower than the previous two bars and volume was lower than the previous two bars so these were all the signs i needed to you know create a short i did that and close uh, close that short just uh, near the close of the day so that is how you know you can use these order flow charts order flow charts first of all you need a nice reference and second of all you have to be patient because these kind of patterns do set up if you you know Uh, jump the gun and enter early then there is possibility of your stop loss is being targeted by smart money so you have to wait before we get a clear signal of you know a lack of interest in one particular direction after the entry of a strong opposing force what i mean is that uh, these were the points where smart sellers entered and then when the prices tried to go up after their entry there was literally no demand going up Uh, that is evident by this low volume so these were the points these are the points where you can take some extremely high risk reward positions and uh, you can you know make consistent money in the markets so that is all for today uh, one uh, small announcement i have to make is that uh, i am going to conduct a webinar session this saturday i'll be posting the links on slack soon and that trading session that uh, webinar is uh, you know about 
trading crude oil using market profile so anybody who is trading in commodities can uh, take benefit of that and uh, also if you if you guys have any questions and all uh, we can try to cover it uh, on saturday there was one question today let me go to the question uh, that was by rp and he said uh, he, he you know shared an image and he asked me about the volume point of control shifting up uh, during the days trading and does it have any significance it definitely does so this is the price point of control and this is the volume point of control and during this late trading with high volume this point of control shifted from this level which is very close to the uh, price point of control to this level so uh, he was asking whether this you know shifting of point of control has any significance it definitely has but then we have to see what happened after this shifting of the point of control uh, we tried to move higher and we have this potential failed auction above this poor high so this uh, poor structure needed repairing and we did that and uh, when this happened and it came down and then we have this you know point of control also shifting up the volume point of control is clearly above the price point of control and uh, that is why you know i did not carry my short uh, if the market straight away goes lower tomorrow i might you know regret my decision but uh, a failed option is a you know a sign of uh, sellers getting the upper hand but this point of control shifting up means that the trade facilitation has moved higher now trade facilitation is a more important uh, metric for uh, you know assessing the risk inside an option so even though this failed option may suggest that the uh, sellers have entered here but this kind of a trade facilitation slowly moving up as you can see Uh, first it was here reaccumulation again this reaccumulation and now here so we may come down because of this failed auction because sellers might see this failed auction and they'll try to sell but then in such scenarios what happens is that you know these areas of uh, accumulation they generally support the prices so if we come here we may turn we even come below that this level might defend and again we may turn so these are the possibilities for tomorrow and uh, it it does you know have some significance uh, but you have to consider all other uh, factors the whole picture together uh, before you know uh, assigning any weightage to such developments so it's a very important development and it was nice of uh, i think it is rahul to spot that but uh, i would say that you need to you know have that weight of evidence kind of a method where you you know weigh these bearish developments one is this second is this overall p structure uh, this important reference being repaired against open drive and acceptance higher potential for absorption as well as this volume point of control moving higher so these are conflicting developments and i am not a very big fan of you know staying in the market when the markets are not clear so that's why even though i got in pretty good in the short i covered it by the end of the day so i hope i have answered rahul's question uh, i have this much to share today uh, thank you for listening and uh, we'll meet tomorrow